Hi, it's Phil from TeachBlend, and in this video we're going to have a look at something specific in Microsoft Teams, which is when you have had a tenant switch, so you've migrated, say for example, from one college to a new college system. Now what this will look at is when you have a Microsoft team transferred onto a new tenant, you'll notice that in Classroom Teams, the Class Materials folder does not exist and it's not been transferred over, but it actually has and it is inside of SharePoint. So this video will show you how to access the Class Materials folder of a migrated team and how you can put this into a new team that you've created on your new tenant at college. I hope you find this video useful and if you do please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend it really does help. Thank you. As you can see I'm in a class team and I'm in my files this is my newly created team on my new tenant but the class materials folder is not transferred so what we're going to do is we're going to transfer this into our new team. So to do this, what we're going to do is make sure that we again have created a new class team and we're in the class materials folder. We're then going to go to our office.com account, which is office.com and sign in using our college username and password. Once we've done this, we're going to click the waffle menu on the left hand side and choose SharePoint. You can search for this if it's not available. Then once you're on SharePoint, you're going to search inside of SharePoint for the team that you are wanting to transfer the class materials folder from. So here you can see I am going to search level two business and this is a migrated team that has not had the class materials transferred into Microsoft Teams. So what I'm going to do now is you can see that actually class materials has transferred but it only exists in SharePoint. So I'm going to click the class materials folder and then what I'm going to do is select the folders that I am after transferring to and I'm going to have a look through these and make sure I only select the ones that are needed. Once I've done this, I'm going to choose the copy to selection and then here you have some options and I'm going to choose your OneDrive and what this will do is it will make a copy of the class materials inside of your OneDrive. You'll see your current folders in OneDrive, but I'm going to create a new folder for this example. You can save it into one of the folders if you know where you are saving it, but I'd recommend creating a new folder. Once you've done this, click copy here. What you'll see now on the right hand side is this copying over the files from the class materials from the migrated team into your OneDrive. And this is really good practice. It means that you've got a copy of your class materials in your personal OneDrive that are safe and they are just for you. We are now gonna put this into our new team. So we're gonna to go to Microsoft Teams, go into our new class team that we have created for our class and choose the upload button. And then we can choose folder and we can actually select that folder that we have copied from the class materials folder in SharePoint and you'll see here that it's listed as test. Just click it once, then choose open. And what that will do then is it will upload the folder. Again, if you've used just selected files, choose files, not folder. Another quick tip that you can do is you can also drag and drop. So if you've got your Explorer window and you can select your OneDrive, what you can do is you can see all your files you can just drag and drop them instead of clicking upload if that's how you prefer it. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend. It really helps. Thank you.